from Kansas City. He's a Rolling Sixties Crip. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, on the little, line we have up, somebody. Uh, what's up with it, brother? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for joining the program. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me, yeah, brother. Sure. Well, shit, man. Um, I'm always, you know, fascinated how, you know, gangs have moved all across the country and all the world, you know, for that matter. But I would love to know, uh, to the best of your knowledge, when did Crips and Bloods uh, pop up in Kansas City? Uh, in Kansas City, they've been around, uh, my knowledge, at least about 1980s that I know for sure, like as far as Kansas City, Kansas, I know Bank and Red and Blue, mm -hmm. probably since 1980, for sure. Okay. So you're in Kansas City, Kansas, not uh, Kansas City, uh, Missouri. Uh, no, nah, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm, okay. I'm over here right now. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty much one and the same from what I understand. Yeah, I can just walk over there. Ah, gotcha. Okay, okay. Sure. Well, shit, let's, uh, let's take it back, man. Um, when did you get, first get put on? Man, I actually, actually, well, it's, a, it's a long story when it got to deal with me. I mean, how much time we got? Shit, what we, we got, got about 25 on? minutes, man. Yeah, we just... Well, and it happened. I mean, you know, my, my block used to be Bloods and stuff, so I had a best friend, man. He was super Bloods. He, he was a uh, pyro, you know what I'm saying, doing his little thing. So some kind of way, man, he got into it with the Crips. He got into it with some movers from, from Kansas City, you know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, they came to the park, man. They came and basically, they wanted to fight. But I guess he ran. So he left me down there, you know what I'm saying, with all the Crips. And my mama, boy, she didn't want me to kick with him no more. So that's how I got went to Cali. Uh -huh. So I ended up going to uh, Pagliato. I went to end up going to Pagliato, uh, California. And I met this dude, you know what I'm saying, named Jazz Lowe. And he used to always talk about the 60s and the 60s and the 60s and the 60s. So when I went back to Kansas City, shit, I just, you know, jumped back like, shit, fuck it, it's 60s, you know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with the uh, blood niggas no more. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because my whole block is bloods because in Kansas City, we represent numbers. So it's like five, six, seven, whatever streets you're from. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the fish street. So, you know, I rep what all the fish street niggas rep. So basically, make a long story short, uh, I went to prisons. And that's mm -hmm. really how I got it on. You know what I'm saying? Officially got put on Chris. But I've been fucking with the uh, Rolling 60s since 1993. Oh, okay. Damn, yeah, shit, that's... 27 years on homie so yeah we're talking yeah, to a dude yeah. who's who's been doing this for a minute um so talk talk to me about what it's like um you know being a crip in prison and then that first day and you know how you connect who, who do you connect with and all that see you know you're talking to the gays love so you know what i'm saying with me it's i got an extravagant lifestyle but to make a long story short on that too uh that's how i really got put on so my first day when i was in the joint uh, the, the nigga that was the, the crib car for Rolling Six, his name was Bug Low. He got punked by a fag named Deep France. So my first day in there, he talking this Rolling Sixty, this, this, that, this, this, that. You know, it's all this. I'm the big homie. This, this, that. As soon as we talking like in live time, like we talking there, here come this, here come this homosexual the, uh, lipstick on with the roller set, this, this, that shirt tied up. we well, talking shit to the homie, and the homie running in the cell. And basically, the well, yeah, like well, when I go get my shanky from Stick So Crib, Bug Low. You know what I'm saying? He he uh he go get his shank and he like by the time I come back down here, bitch ass nigga, if you in this motherfucking nigga, I'm fucking your ass up, nigga. Damn. And I, so the fag goes back and the fag go get his shank because I run in the cell. So I, you know, you see that shit on TV and you be seeing that shit, you be like, man, what the fuck when you see me in real life? You like, no, but well, a fag, like, yeah, that's what I thought. So basically, make a long story short, my homeboy ran in the cell. I mean, the nigga who was running the sixty car, the fag made him running the cell. So I never seen nothing like that. I'm like, cuz I'm six up. None of my homies go out like that. I don't know what you from. So I, I persuaded cuz to come out the cell. He's just like, man, you don't know, man. Cuz is a killer, man. You don't know. I only got like uh, two months left, man. So, man, I'm trying to get out of here. And I'm, Why you was talking shit to him if you know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But to make a long story short, man, about two months after that, man, I got put on, man, up in a uh, weight room. We got a little bathroom back in the back. You know what I'm saying? I got put on, you know what I'm saying, by my nigga, my nigga Jazz, my nigga Corn, and my nigga Pickle Low. Yep. Okay. And it's all good. Damn, yep. So damn. that's how I got put on. You know what I'm saying? Rolling six where it's like it's rich rolling for sure, for sure. You know. What's up with it, boy? It's a gig low. Down here and bust one for y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? I be up on the block smoking gun the cut with a fucking chopstick looking for the suckers. Let them niggas go at the light. Let's get it in my MC8 voice. Y'all niggas some bitches. Snitches get stitches while we still getting riches In the candy painted Chevy riding with some bad bitches Man, I'm always getting money while you play around with Take the makeup off your face, you little clown ass nigga, what's up? Hey, 
you know we ain't playing boy chop a bullet sting it like a helicopter when it's war i fuck your bitch in the telly at room four we trying to get it up shit what you think this room for lopsided ass nigga what you think we in it for i guess you win the losing you ain't never been a winner boy i grind from january to december i'm a hot boy i got this 40 glico on me yeah it's a hot toy if you disrespect me nigga you'll get knocked boy throwing up the five like tupac thug life boy if you disrespect me nigga you will get knocked boy throwing up the five like tupac thug life boy i'm trying to come up just like monopoly hard or soft you can get the broccoli broccoli you know we trying to flip the key man on the meal ticket that's where we supposed to be i'm trying to come up just like monopoly hard or soft you can get the broccoli broccoli you know we tryna flip a key, man, on the meal ticket, that's where we supposed to be. In Kansas City, we wear hoodies and pack blocks, you know I made a lot of money hustling on five block. I really don't give a fuck, I pull up to your spot, nigga fuck your bitch and then take your knocks. If you ever call my phone, you ain't getting gang. it's geese low, I keep that level weight. Yeah, you will levitate when you fucking with that hard to the day that I die. Nigga, this John Gwalin Park, you dig? I'm a hustler, you can check my repertoire. Lock down on the game just like I was Crispin. Why RP the Twomp Low? Man, them suckers gotta die. I done made up my mind, just another homicide. Man, I want dessert, trying to come up with another pop. Bitch, you suck dick, get caught, then they want to cry. If I ever go to court, nigga, I'm a Plead the fire, man. Fuck him, sucker, nigga. Shit, man. It's time to rock. I'm trying to come up. Just like Monopoly, hard or soft. You can get the broccoli, broccoli. You know, we trying to flip a key, but man, on the meal ticket, that's where we supposed to be. I'm trying to come up. Just like Monopoly, hard or soft. You can get the broccoli, broccoli. You know, we trying to flip a key, man. On the meal ticket, that's where we supposed to be. Yeah. Get slow, boy. Fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck with me. Okay, fuck. All right. What's your longest stretch, man? No, I only have to do 24 months. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, you said only. I'm like, fuck, if I had to do 24 days, I'd be pissed off, man. Yeah, because, you know, all the homies where I'm going, they had life sins and 25s and all that. Mm. So when you be talking a little time and all that, they're like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you are, you are a short time, you know what I'm saying? But shit, like you said, any time in prison is uh, it's not a game. Because the first time I went, they let me be in minimum, where it was just cool and shit. But since you are already offended, the second time, you got to be in minimum. Second time, they weren't playing on me, you mm. know what I'm saying? So the second time, it was real. Yeah, real, real heck. Okay. Uh, we've had a couple people on my show who did a lot of, lot of time in prison. And they said on multiple occasions, you know, that COs were giving up that pussy. Nigga, magic low. This is my real magic. He he fucked the guards, you know what I'm saying? He had the bitch bend her booty back to the back of the uh fucking uh, the, the, <laughs> the bars. Uh, Damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bang bang her up. And then he got uh, you know what I'm saying, she came in the door and he was she was playing like he was in it. But me personally, why I don't hit him is because in jail, I'm trying to get the fuck out. Yeah. I ain't got time for that shit. Mm -hmm. And then for two you know what I'm saying? I don't want no corn fed motherfucking uh white girl on the motherfucking <laughs> stick. Yeah, yeah he did say she looked like shit. He did a couple of them did say she looked like shit. Yeah, I ain't got that much time. Fuck that. Yeah, it does go down, bro. That's hilarious, man. Yes, sir. Well, shit, I would like to uh, ask you. You know, there's there's like a a West Coast way of cripping as it moves a little bit Midwest to the East. You know, it gets a little bit different. You know, what I'm saying with the stars and the and the five and the six and things like that. Uh, would you say what would you say in Kansas City would they be more f affiliated with the Midwest East Coast way or, or the West Coast way? No, nah, we West Side. Yeah. Because, you know, we're from Oklahoma down in but we going more West. We we like the Midwest, so we got West. We fuck with the West. We will, niggas around here fuck with the Bay. So niggas down here fuck with all the niggas from Bay and Oakland and South yeah. and all shit like that. So niggas Bay and Cali from Kansas City, they kick it like that. Yeah, well, that goes back to, you know, unfortunately, rest in peace, Mac Dre. You know, I know he used to, yeah, he used to do shows out there in, in KC, and I think I'm pretty sure that's where he met his demise, but that doesn't, you know, mean him. He got popped, you know what I'm saying? My, my bro Sean, you know what I'm saying? He was with him, he's trying to get with him. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, so, but there's always been that connection for for whatever reason from California to KC. I wonder if it has to do with music. Maybe it does. See, Kansas down here, where we at, Crip is just Crip. Mm-hmm. So where we at, I'm saying before Nip and before uh, Snoop and all these niggas was talking about the love. See, I already been in the Cali, already doing this. See, Kansas down here, they used to have they they rags and they right pocket and the Bloods had they shit in their left pocket. Hmm. And they just switched up. So now I'm cool as know about neighborhoods and shit like that. But for the majority down here. Store of Crip, you know what I'm saying? The store of the city. So it's like a gang of niggas, but it's like Crip. It's Crip is not like you know, I don't like you because you wearing horns and you Crip. Now down here it's just Crip is Crip. So we don't we don't get it. But a nigga from Cali, when he come over a neighborhood or he come over Hoover, this, 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 and he stand out like that, then yeah, they bang it. But as far as right here, they ain't doing it. But it's Cali niggas that's in Kansas City that do their thing. So yeah, people know they live. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keeping people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week How the hell are we gonna lose? It's 16, where we gonna go? You tell me, what we gonna do? But this ain't the way Cause they ready to let loose How the hell are we gonna lose? It's 16, where we gonna go? You tell me, what we gonna do? But this ain't the way Cause they ready to let loose How the hell are we gonna Come on Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, what were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rowdy Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's alive. I'm trying to get it by any means that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin is current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibe, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification is I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going for it You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change in this coming, you better know I'm in here 31, and you ain't gonna get me in Are everywhere. Do you guys have a big uh, Latino gang presence out there? 
Ah, uh, yeah, we got the F-13s, we got the C-13s, what well, we got motherfucking, uh, what else they got out here? Chris? They got folks, the SDs, yep, Spanish Disciples, yep. Okay. Yeah, they, out here, the SAs, I don't, I don't play no fucking games out here. Them motherfuckers, and they get a lot of money. Oh, they word. They get a lot. And they're about that shit, but they keep, they, over here, they don't, they don't hate on uh, black people. So out here, they ain't like no gang where they don't be like trying to kill you. Like in Kansas City, they, they down with you. They want to be black and shit. Mm. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Like, I can just pull up to the SA hood on flat, and they gonna piss my shit. And they ain't gonna be like, nigga, get the fuck out of here from the third fucking line. They ain't none of that uh, shit. Nice, cool, but, cool. Shit, who, who are some of the other gangs out there, like, you know, that we would recognize out here from L.A.? Like, I know you. They got IBC. They got some Avalon. They got some Kitchen Cribs. They got some, uh, it's hella Hoovers. Deuce, Deuce Hoover, 3 1 Hoover. They got Old Deuce Hoover. They got Five Deuce Hoover. They got, uh, Seven Four. And she, the rest of the niggas. Like, the niggas is making it. It's very, it's very, like, the street because for the simple fact you, you got to be connected to the west boy coast so i got my you know what i'm saying my my my, my, my cousins you know what i'm saying she, you know what i'm saying baby hey you know what i'm saying little hey you know what i'm saying for and brains you know what i'm saying she, i got this hella people you know what i'm saying she, baby terrible tiny terrible hella motherfuckers this you know what i'm saying that i know you know what i'm saying from the hood i've been in cali so i didn't actually been in cali with the homies too but that's the first time when I went to Palayat, so that's when I just knew about cuz, you know, in general. Then I went back again, but man, next time I went back, I was kicking it in Bakersfield, fucking around on Peace Street, fucking around with the locks in the alley. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, I, you know, I'm official when he, when he comes to, you know what I'm saying, local, like, yeah, like, I can get some niggas from Cali, boy, Bashful, you know, nah, I ain't one of them Kansas City niggas, like, ah, oh, nah, you ain't, you ain't been a Cali type, nah, because you ain't real. You can't be claiming nothing from some other boy state and you're not even real. You over here trying to push something. That, that wouldn't be right, you know what I'm saying? Take yourself back to April 2019. You know, we woke up to hear that Nipsey Hussle was murdered. How did that affect Kansas City? Because it hit us hard out here, but, you know, you're rolling 60. You're, how, yeah. how did it affect so, you guys? Because the hood, all my niggas, is, you know, obviously we Facebook friends and different shit. And, you know, I was at work, so, you know, my, on the side, you know what I'm saying, I paint too, so I'm painting or whatever, and everybody like uh, Nipsey, you know what I'm saying, but this is the thing about it, when, you, when you're speaking about some, once again, if you're not from there, you can't be talking about firsthand, like, when you talk to me, I'm about 60, so obviously I didn't got into it with at least 10 or 12 people, due to the fact of coming with speculations and allegations that they don't know nothing what the fuck they're talking about. But they trying to talk about some real shit and about some gang shit and about some shit that I know firsthand because the homies already told me, they already told me, you know what I'm saying, what's up, what's up, you know what I'm saying? So that's the first and foremost. And then, like I said, I ain't got to tell these stupid nerd niggas that I ain't tapped in and nothing and they don't know nothing about that. But when this shit else and that shit happened, I deleted a lot of niggas. They talking about doctors, they talking about this, they talking about this, they talking about this. Obviously, if you see that, ain't nobody going to come back and kick you in the motherfucking head. It ain't got nothing to do with that no speculation. Uh. That's that's you have to do something with some with some hater shit. You know what I'm saying? So they're you know, me to be speaking on something, then you to be speaking on something. Nigga, we all the way in Kansas City. What the fuck you talking about about Crenshaw? Nigga ain't no Crenshaw, man. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So of course that hurt me. My first tattoo was Rollin' Sixties on my hand. You know what I'm saying? For my nigga Tom Bob keep dead now, you know what I'm saying? But that was my first tattoo. I didn't get on my mama tatted on me, my daddy, my, my cousin, my name tatted on me, nothing. I got bro six on with the dollar sign. Mm. Bro, six. You know what I'm saying? We pushing a hard line. So to actually be saying that and to be talking about that and be doing that, of course you're gonna be affected because see your cousin's pushing a little harder than everybody, but he the little homie. Obviously they you the the big homie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If they're calling niggas like that, but this nigga right here. You know what I'm saying? He was the epitome of what niggas is trying to be with showing up in your face yeah. and about the and push the line in your face and something that you can do. But doing it as a rapper, not a crowd, not a snitch, and doing it right in your face, the same place where he hated to tell you to get out, we done brought the whole thing down with it, pulling up the board and doing shit, and then just doing shit, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to just overdo shit, but just, you know, if you're not fun and like, you don't understand, that's just how it is there, you know what I'm saying? So if you're looking on the big screen, you see it, so of course you got speculation. And then he, he went into a, uh, as far as a sex uh, symbol, when he started doing this shit, and was getting this shit out of him, so you know he got hella bitches. Mm-hmm. So, of course, everybody's going to be affected by that, but yeah, that's one that uh, we still can't swallow, so we always going to push them. We always going to do that, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, that's off the top, since so. Um, 
shit, keeping it on hip hop, and I know you make music yourself, and I want to definitely give you a chance to talk about that also. But uh, we lost Pop Smoke out here. Um, just released his album, shit, like five hundred thousand in one week. Like he was supposed to be the next big thing, man. But my question for you is, you know, how, how should a uh, in your opinion, how should someone with gang ties move from city to city? I mean, it depending on what, where you at and depending on who you affiliated with. Like my bro over here, he's, he's GD, you know what I'm saying? So, and it got to do with growth and development and stuff like that. There's certain places where you can't go and you can't do because, once again, if you speaking at it, you saying it, you ain't tapped in, that's just like me. You going in, you trying to do a show, obviously in the hood, you on Saint Fab, you on A Fab, you somewhere and you screaming this stuff and you really ain't with that and can't nobody vouch for you. Obviously you need to pay your dues. So if you come into Kansas City and you ain't tapped in with nobody, obviously you can't come in on a fifth block and think you're about to be twerking and doing something. So yeah, especially when you're affiliated with something, yeah, you really need to uh, tap in with guys before you uh, start moving around in different states to state. Shit. Your opinion on Takashi six nine. Oh, uh, woo. Weird. <laughs> Hey, this one right here is funny, but it's real. I mean, because like I said, man, where I'm from, we super crips. So just my little polo sign on my shirt is too much red with my homie so I'm low. <laughs> so that's the city nine and it's shit that he's talking about. I mean, it's funny because I mean everybody already kinda like knew it, but they're not understanding like as far as me being in jail and being on the federal uh system like that, that's not giving uh, props to the people who really knocking times out like Big Meats or people like that who really doing time and knocking it out Barry Hoover, people like that, you know what I'm saying to be this clown coming out and then the U.S. government fund him again to say snitching is cool and to defy all odds and then to do that, so any clown that fuck with him is a clown, even if even if you I, I mean, if it could pop up like a pop-up and you see this shit on YouTube, you need to pop up and pop that shit back out because you cannot be uh, you know Glamorizing snitching or glamorizing any fuck shit because think about the kids is growing up. You think this rainbow uh, color hair motherfucker give a fuck about our kids and how we growing up, especially since Black Lives Matter? That's the last thing you should be want to be is a fucking coward ass uh, fucking yellow belly snitch motherfucker. Yeah. What are your thoughts on how um, how responsible are the gang for letting them get that close to him, to them? I ain't responsible because before you were snitch, you all in. So I was, I know you were supposed to cooperate with the U.S. government. Okay. As far as we know, super blood, Takashi made a 6 9 trade way. As far as everybody knew, you was you was doing what you do. But the real, everybody who's solid in the game, man, knowing you was going to get your top blue off, something was going to happen. And you was the first motherfucker to snitch. Yeah. Takashi, 6 9. And then that's it. And then you don't have no problem. It's like, if when you do some stuff and it's all bad, you should have some problems. And he has no kind of remorse, no kind of nothing. Nah. But he was cooperating with him and he was doing these things. It would be totally different if it was like, oh, your sister got killed. There's some stuff happening and you just seen what happened. Totally different. Motherfucker, when you was selling dope, beating motherfuckers, talking about this suit, woo, and all this old fun shit, and 20 niggas in the courtroom, and you just uh, talking, you cooperate with the government, you a snitch, and all snitches get stitches, and that's on 6 old clip, cuz. What are your thoughts specifically on rappers who join gangs after they become famous? You know, Will, Lil Wayne, Chris Brown. Um, yeah, it already depends. Now, Chris Brown, he paid his way, but it already depends on how old you are. Because it all depends on, because it's levels to this shit. Like I said, 93 is a long time to be talking about some cripping, and it's 2000 motherfucking 20, and yeah. I'm still cripping. Oh, that's a total difference. Now, these motherfuckers who get in that young, because some of these guys are young, 19, 17, 18. I mean, if that's how you get in, but if you get in, because all the time, let me rephrase this, all the time you don't have to get jumped in. See, because that's a lot. And this is the true fact. Every nigga that's six old crib, Cali, I don't give a fuck, New York, whatever, did not get blessed in the game. Why? Because some niggas just grew up in the house on the block where the crib set. And I just grew up like this and it is what it is. Never had to get jumped in because you are strictly from the soil. Never had to get put in on nothing. Never had to get jumped in on nothing because you were always with it from the time it started to now. So anybody trying to test your cripping is fake because you was here when cripping started. You know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Shit, man. It's, it's real though, bro. Yeah, well shit, man. Um talk to me about the music, man. What you got going on with that? 
I was with music, man. I just did a song with Love Blood, man. You know what I'm saying? My city's gonna be called Gunther Pack. Cause down here, that's what we call the chronic. So I'm the Gunther boy. Cause you know, I blow good. So, you know, I'm about to come out with my city. It's about to be called Gunther Pack. And before that, you know, G's Low. So, you know, we switch up. G's Low. That's what we used to be in the hood. We call work G. You know, I used to push that G. So they call me G's and I'm low. Uh, so. Okay. And as far as the music, man. <clears throat> I always been a rapper, but I've never been a rapper because I've always been a hustler. So real niggas that really rap, they cannot be doing the shit that they talking about because if you were niggas like Rollo and shit like that, they locked up because you can't be at the fucking studio with Jay Z and be moving a kilogram of some shit down in Texas. It yeah. just doesn't work. <laughs> well, yeah, so, I think Boosie said that on a live TV interview, man. He said you, you, it's um, it's it's impossible to have one foot in the street and one foot in the studio. Yeah, bro. So now I didn't jump back on rapping because I mean. It's just the, it's just the gift, but I, I look for as the opportunity. As far as Kansas, ain't nobody in the way. There's nobody from Kansas City, Kansas, who can say that's productive or they're mainstream or nothing. So mm. when as far as that, like one of the coolest cities and get the most money and shit like that and fun, but it's like they do so much hating, so much shit because it's too much killing. Like we like the number one for killing. That's why they call it Killer KC because so all motherfuckers do. They bang, bang, ain't no fight. Ain't no, like a nigga from LA or Cali come down here with that boy trying to do all that. They gonna see what you with that chopping. Cause down here you can just go to the store with you can go on uh fucking Walmart with the chop on you and go to the fucking quick trip or go to the Taco Bell with the motherfucker on you. It's like that's how they doing it down here. Yeah, wild wild west. So I ain't like no mm. ah damn you need to eat, man. No, they're gonna blow your ass off at Target, Costco. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, uh, been a pleasure, homeboy. Um, tell everybody out there where they can find you, man. Man, you can find me, man. Nothing, boy, man. Five hundred. You can find me. My uh my uh geese low. That's obviously my page. You can find me at uh uh SoundCloud, you can find me on boy YouTube, you know, G H E Z Z L O C Low. Man, check me out, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's my old shit, but my new shit coming, so just tap in, you're gonna see me in my podcast. I'm about to get my stuff going because obviously I'm a blogger, but that's on my Andre page and uh shit, yeah, I get hella views. I done got like a million views on Facebook from that's that. Dope, just, homie, um, and also I got the legal marijuana going too, you know yes. what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I was born in Kansas City, you know what I'm saying? Oh. My company, saying, yeah, you know, you know how we do it, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, CMZ, you know what I'm saying, the chemist and the gore, you know, so we got the stuff going, man. So, yeah, we're going to have that out in the Gunther Pack, obviously, because that's the strain what we're pushing out here. So, we're going to be pushing the uh, Gunther Pack OG mix with uh, Strawberry. There so, you is. know. Yes, sir, yeah. man. Yeah, shit, I would love to help out any way I can. Let's, let's definitely stay in touch, homie. Yes, sir, man. Like I said, you need me, man. Tap in. Sounds tap good. In. Sounds yes, good, sir, homeboy. Bro. You guys have a safe night. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Love, bro. Peace, yes. man.